Hello and welcome to this podcast on problematic lesions in the elderly. By definition, the elderly period is defined as the age of 60 years and more. Before discussing problematic lesions in the elderly, it is imperative to understand the natural evolution of nevi throughout lifetime. It is well documented that nevus count increases from puberty to midlife and thereafter decreases. Studies investigating the age-related nevus pattern showed significant differences in the nevus pattern according different age groups. While nevi in children commonly exhibit a globular pattern, nevi in adolescents are often characterized by a peripheral rim of brown globules. These nevi enlarge symmetrically over time until the disappearance of brown globules indicates stabilization of growth. At this stage, they often exhibit a reticular pattern as also typically seen in nevi of adults. Instead, the stereotypical nevus pattern in the elderly are intradermal nevi. These age-related differences in the nevus pattern has led to the concept that globular nevi with development in early childhood are persisting nevi that acquire with time and in the elderly the stereotypical appearance of intradermal nevi. In fact, a few globular nevi are seen throughout all ages. Instead, Reticular, also called Clark nevi, are dynamic throughout lifetime, whereby they develop around puberty, acquire during stabilization a reticular pattern and undergo spontaneous involution after the fourth decade of life. The knowledge about the physiology of nevi has two practical implications. First, it explains that the most common benign lesions in the elderly are intradermal nevi of the Mischer or Una type, as well as other common non-melanocytic lesions such as hemangioma or seborrheic keratosis. These lesions usually can be diagnosed with high confidence. Second, it explains that any new and or growing melanocytic lesion in the elderly should be dealt with caution. In the following three representative examples of growing lesions in the elderly will be presented. The first case is a 67-year-old man presenting with a solitary, large pigmented macule on the abdomen. The lesion was not present at birth, but developed approximately 10 years before and increased slightly in size. Upon dermoscopy, no striking dermoscopic features of melanoma are evident, but the lesion can be surely diagnosed as melanocytic tumor due to the presence of a brown pigmented network. In such case, we have to ask us, which non-congenital melanocytic lesion will reach such large diameter if not a growing one? For this reason, the lesion was excised and histopathologically diagnosed as melanoma in situ, lendigenous type. In the second case, we see a tiny, clinically inconspicuous lesion on the arm of an 80-year-old man. Upon dermoscopy, the lesion shows clear signs of growth, namely peripheral globules. As 80 years is the age of nevus involution, the lesion was excised and diagnosed as early invasive melanoma. Importantly, besides peripheral globules, Black globules and peripheral streaks are further signs of growth and should always prompt excision when seen in the period of nevus involution. The last case refers to a pink nodule located on the back of a 75-year-old man. He could not refer to an exact presence of the nodule. Dermoscopically, we have to ask us simply whether this lesion could be an intradermal nevus, hemangioma or seborrheic keratosis. In this case, a confident diagnosis of neither lesions was made. Therefore, the, lesions, the lesion has been excised and was diagnosed as invasive amelanotic nodular melanoma. In summary, 
the age after the sixth decade of life is the period of nevus involution. A large clinical diameter, peripheral globules, peripheral streaks or black globules are important clinical and demoscopic signs of growth and should be dealt with caution when observed in the elderly. And a pink nodule that cannot be confidently diagnosed as intradermal nevus, hemangioma or other surely benign tumor should be always excised.